Hi guys, welcome to day 11 of my 12 days of Christmas series. Today I'm going to be using this fancy swirly tree stamp um, from So Susie Stamps. And I started off with a cream coloured um, A2 sized note card. This is just a panel that I'll be sticking on the front. And I scored along each side an eighth of an inch um, in from the edge. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half, just a standard uh, note card size. And I scored, um, sorry, an eighth of an inch from the bottom and the top and a quarter of an inch um, from the sides. I'm going to be doing some embossing rather than die cutting on this piece. So I'm just spritzing it with water to make the um, paper a little bit more kind of malleable. And then I'm going to take some sticky tape. Now I've made sure to um, wipe off the majority of the stick on this tape. I've just kind of stuck it on the back of my hand and peeled it off a couple of times to make sure it doesn't stick at all um, to this paper and I've run that through my die cutting machine with an embossing mat. So this has just left a really nice kind of double stitched edge um, embossed pattern rather than cutting out an oval and that's the stitched ovals from Simon Says Stamp. So I've run my anti-static powder tool across the um, card front and now I'm just using my stamp -a -jig, um to stamp down a copy of this tree. I just want to make sure that I line it up exactly in the center of this oval. And so the stamp -a -jig is just kind of a clear piece of plastic that you can stamp down onto and then you can bring this little kind of arm back in put that back in the corner of this square and then you know that when you stamp down um, lining up the edge of your acrylic block with the edge of the arm you're going to stamp down in the exact place that you had the transparency in. So I hope that made sense. I'm stamping this down using some onyx black ink and this stays wet a little bit long um, a little bit longer than regular dye ink so I can sprinkle on some clear embossing powder and I can heat set that with my heat tool. I think it's nice to do that rather than embossing with um, black embossing powder as it just makes sure that you don't get any flecks of black where you don't want them. So once I've got that done I'm just again taking the stamp -a jig and just using that to make sure I've got this Merry Christmas stamped exactly where I want it. I just wanted to make sure to line that up really carefully so it fits inside that oval again and then I'm sprinkling on some Martha Stewart gold embossing powder. I'm just going to heat set that with my heat tool and we're almost done with this card. You could leave it um, just as it is there but I decided instead I would mount that onto a white card, card base. So I'm just taking a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock that I've scored in the middle covering that with some ATG tape and then I'll be able to press down that cream coloured panel. So as you can hear I still have a cold, <laughs> it's, uh, it's really not shifting, it's, uh, it's, not been, it's not been the best but hopefully that should be all out of the way in time for Christmas because nobody wants to feel sick over their Christmas break. So I'm hoping that I'm over the worst of it and it'll be all better by the time Christmas comes around. So I'm just going to go ahead now and apply some a couple of different sizes and just seeing which size works best of these self-adhesive kind of um, flat back pearls and I'm just using my craft knife to help me stick those down in place. And I'm just kind of sticking those at the end of each of the flourishes. As I mentioned this stamp is from So Susie Stamps. I do have a post on their blog again today. It's my final guest design post and I've got another card featured there which also uses this stamp set so if you want to check that out I'll make sure to have a link below. But I really have enjoyed working with So Susie Stamps. I think they have some really great um, kind of rubber stamps and the nice thing about it is that you can buy each of their images individually so you don't have to buy maybe an expensive set which only has one or two images that you actually want to use you can just pick which images out of each of their releases that you want and you can just pick those up okay so we're all done with today's card i hope you've enjoyed this video as i say it is a little bit of a short video for you today but if you have enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe so I can see you again on Tuesday for my final video in the 12 days of Christmas series.